Hi Stampers, I'm Nancy Novak from StampAndShout.com and this is the fifth day, fifth video of my excellent eggs video series, video tutorial. Um, so we've made four projects so far. Stick around and we'll do a little recap later, but I'm excited to show you today's card. So here's today's card. It's a bright and cheerful spring Eastery card. It's got the bright lemon lolly designer series paper and I emboss that with the cane weave embossing folder. And then we have a colorful Easter egg. This stamp we haven't used yet. So let's bring in today's supplies. So I have a card base of Highland Heather. And then for the inside, I have two white pieces and a piece of designer series paper. And then for the front, I have a piece of white, a piece of the lemon lolly, I have a scrap of the Highland Heather and a scrap of white. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring this piece in and we're going to be using a few of the different size eggs. So first I'm going to use the largest egg die and we're going to cut right out of that piece of lemon lolly. So I'm just going to center it just like that. I'm also going to use a piece of post-it tape and it helps keep it in place. So I'm going to cut that out real quick and I will be right back. So we got that cut out and I'm going to save this egg for another card project. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the cane weave embossing folder and I'm going to insert this in there and I'm going to run that through the machine and give it some really nice weaved texture. The cane weave embossing folder is one of my favorite embossing folders for Easter time because it gives it a really nice weaved pattern, hence the name, but it kind of um, reminds me of an Easter basket. So now that we gave it the texture, we'll continue on. But one thing to remember is you want to cut the egg out first and then run it through the machine to give it texture. If you do it the other way around, you're going to smash all that pretty texture. So cut it first and then texture it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp our egg and I'm going to stamp it in Memento Black Ink. And I'm going to stamp the bunny in Gorgeous Grape. And I'm going to stamp our sentiment, Hello Spring, in, also in Gorgeous Grape. Okay, so now I'm going to color in our Easter egg. And I'm using stamping blends and I have light and dark fresh freesia. And I didn't have a lemon lolly uh, stamping blend, so let me show you what I did. I brought in my lemon lolly ink. And I brought in a stamping block and I picked up some ink on that stamping block. And I'm going to use my Wink Estella like a paintbrush and I'm going to color in the area that I want to be Lemon Lally. Okay. So you have to go over it a few times because it's a very light color, but eventually it'll get to be that pretty lemon lolly color that you like. Plus it has a little bit of a sparkle to it. So let's finish coloring it in. So I'm going to start with the dark uh, fresh freesia and I'm going to color a couple of parts of my egg in with, the, with that one. So when I color with the blends, I like to outline it first. Now I'm going to use the light fresh freesia. You just have to be careful when you go in between small spaces, have a real light hand because it will bleed in, into the other area if you get too close or if you push too hard. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out all of these images. So I'm going to use the eggs right from the die set and for the bunny and we're going to fussy cut out our sentiment so I'll be right back okay so I have my little my little bunny and my egg and I'm bringing my paper snips in and I'm going to fussy cut out the sentiment get rid of some of the extra first just like that. Very easy and quick. Okay, let's bring in our card base and our other pieces and we'll put this together. So what I did was I brought in the dimensionals and I put them on the back of this lemon lolly piece. So I put the 
bigger dimensionals in the corner and little dimensionals all around the egg. Just like that. So all around here, I just use the little edges that hopefully you're not throwing away. Those are very useful. So I'm going to take all of the dimensional stickies off and put them on this white layered piece. Okay, I'm going to bring my egg in. I forgot we got to do one more thing. I have that scrap of Highland Heather. I'm going to bring in my eggs again and show you what we did. So we cut the large egg out with the large egg die. We cut the one we stamped out with the third die, and we're going to cut one more. This is the second largest, and we're going to cut that out of Highland Heather. So let me cut that out real quick, and we'll put our card together. Okay, I'm going to glue these two pieces together, and then I'm going to glue that right in the center of our card. Okay, I'm going to glue this on the front of our card. So I'm going to take this moment before we finish the front of our card and the inside of our card, and I'll pop up all the information on the screen for you. So that's the sizes and the supplies that I used. So you can just take a screenshot. Okay, let's finish our card. So we're going to put the Hello Spring here. We're going to put the bunny here, and we're going to put a bow on the top. So this piece, these little pieces here are half on the raised dimensional and half on uh, flat. So we're going to have to put a dimensional right on the little bunny's head and on the part of um, the hello, and then we'll glue the rest. So let me bring back those dimensionals. I'm just going to use little pieces again. And the ribbon I'm using is Lemon Lolly, and it's from the Sheer Ribbon Combo Pack. So you get Azure Afternoon, Bubble Bath, and Lemon Lolly all in one package. I'm going to attach that with a glue dot. Okay, so that's the front of the card. And for the inside, I have two white pieces. And I'm going to stamp on there, Happy Easter. And I'm going to stamp that in Gorgeous Grape. And I'm going to stamp a bunny on the inside. And then I have a piece of that Designer Series paper. And I'm going to put that right at the bottom. And this was about a half inch, but I'm going to cut it a little thinner. So about three, uh, three eighths of an inch for that bottom Designer Series paper. And again, that Designer Series paper, that is the paper I've been using all week. It's the uh, Subtle Designer Series Paper Pack. It's six by six sheets. Very pretty colors for spring and Easter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these white pieces together. I'm going to glue them to the inside of the card, and I'm going to glue our Designer Series strip on there. So here's today's card, very colorful and beautiful. Hello Spring, which is a perfect touch to welcome the season. You know, there's only 24 days left till spring <laughs> and 36 till Easter. So um, this is a great little set for all your Easter cards, don't you think? Let's bring in the other cards that we made this week and look at those real quick. So we made this one with the large Easter egg and we used the zigzags and we used the softly sophisticated embossing folder. And here we use the littlest die Again, we have that cane weave embossing folder in the background. And then I showed you two cards using that little scenery with the bunnies. We did one in Balmy Blue, and then I demoed the one in Pool Party. We also made an Easter basket. I just love this Easter basket. I love the colors. Very Eastery. <laughs> and then we have today's card. So I hope you enjoyed all of this week's cards with me. And if you feel inspired and want to add this fantastic stamp set and dies to your crafting collection, you can find the shopping links in the description below this video and also on my blog. Make sure you jump over to my blog because I have really large pictures of all of my card projects. And just so you know, if you treat yourself to this bundle and perhaps the cane weave embossing folder, you'll qualify for a complimentary celebration item and celebration ends in five days. So I hope you enjoy that little shopping tip and I will see you soon. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.